let me show you one of the most comfortable rooms I've ever designed. Well, it's that time of year when, well, it's time to get this room really comfortable and ready to use. This is the sleeping porch, which is a very old fashioned idea. And you see this idea in certain parts of the country where, well, the summers were hot. So it's a very much a Southern idea. You also see it on the East Coast and the West Coast where you have really mild temperatures in the summer. And on the West Coast, you have mild temperatures in Southern California all the time. But the sleeping porch was used as a place to get away from the heat of the inside of the house and be able to take advantage of the breezes during the spring and the summer. And this room is really not quite as large as it might look. You see, it's only 12 feet wide and it's about 36 feet long. And so it really feels generous. And the idea about this room is for it to feel really comfy. And, uh, but what I wanna do is just describe first some of the architectural details. The floor is made of tongue and groove pine that's been painted sort of a soft green. From the floor, if you look straight up, it's a beadboard ceiling that's been painted a bird egg blue, and that's to keep insects from building nests on it like wasps and dirt daubers. Now, if you look at the north wall across here, you actually see the exterior finish of the house, which is an old brick that's been lime washed. And then I have dark green shutters flanking the windows and the door down here on the west end. Now on both ends of this porch, since the prevailing winds come down the river in this direction, this entire wall, the west wall and the east wall are shuttered. And those are louvered shutters so you can close them up if there's too much wind coming this way or you can open them up if the breeze is just the way you want it. Speaking of breeze, looking back at the ceiling, you can see I have three ceiling fans that can really stir it up, which makes it, again, a very comfortable space. Of course, the best view from the house is right up here. It's like a crow's nest and you can see the world. You can see all the way down the river and you can see it through this screen wire. And this is copper wire. And what I like about it is that it doesn't have an iridescence or a sheen and you can see right through it. It feels much more translucent to the eye. So uh, it doesn't distort what you see beyond. And I love being able to sit up here and watch barges go down the river and also be able to look at the garden and listen to the fountain below. You know, this room really reflects, I think, the whole garden home idea of where you blur the lines between inside and out. Take, for instance, color, which is so important. There's some color echoes going on here. If we go back through the colors of the architecture of this outdoor room, you have the pale green floor, you have the white trim, you have the dark green with the shutters, and then you have the pale blue ceiling and the soft yellow walls. Well, I've echoed that in the furnishings that are out here. The side tables are dark green. Some of the rockers that are in wicker are done in pale green. And even the beds are done white with coverlets that are blue and the pillows are white, blue, and green. And hey, this stuff really lasts. This is a sombrella indoor-outdoor fabric. Looks like it would be something you would use inside the home. But this has been out here for three years and it has held up beautifully. And the rugs as well, they're indoor-outdoor rugs. And I have all of the little comfort creatures around. A lamp, a lantern here with candles, house plants, and even magazines as well as a tray of refreshments for my friends to drink. So even though it's called a sleeping porch, it doesn't mean you have to come out here and sleep. This little corner or nook is a perfect place to just sort of kick back and relax. And I cannot tell you how important house plants are, particularly in the summer, to make a place feel really cozy and wonderful. Plus it does your house plants a lot of good to get them outside for what I call summer camp. Now come down here at the other end because I want to show you the aspect of this room that always grabs everyone's attention. This tub really is one of the most comforting aspects of this entire house and particularly this room. You can fill it up with warm water, bubble bath, a little rubber ducky, have a glass of wine and just kick back and watch the world go by. What I do is keep a bath mat out here. This old step ladder serves as a great place to put extra towels and soap and shampoo and so forth. And 
On a practical note, the plumbing is actually, it's run under the floor and there's a shutoff valve right behind this shutter where we can turn the water off in the winter so we don't get a problem with freezing pipes, breaking and so forth. So if you do this and you have freezing temperatures in your part of the world, you wanna make sure you have that little safety valve in place. Hey, if you're enjoying these ideas on style, check in regularly, tell your friends about them and subscribe to eHow Homes.